Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a Gradle build failure after updating their SDK. They received an error message indicating that the SDK is either missing or out of date. And after re-downloading it, they now see a new error related to unzipping a library file. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The first step to resolve the Gradle build failure is to check if your Android SDK is correctly installed and up to date. Open Android Studio and navigate to the SDK Manager. In the SDK Manager, ensure that you have the necessary SDK platforms and tools installed. Look for any updates and install them if available. Next, let's clear the Gradle cache. Sometimes corrupted files in the cache can cause build failures. Open your terminal and run the following command. After clearing the cache, try rebuilding your project. You can do this by selecting Build from the menu and then Rebuild Project. If the issue persists, consider manually deleting the build cache directory. Navigate to the path mentioned in the error message and delete the contents. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the Gradle build failure due to unzipping issues, clear the build cache. Open the terminal from the View menu and run the command for your operating system. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing a Gradle build failure due to unzipping issues, there's a simple solution. You can clear the build cache to resolve this. To clear the build cache, open your terminal. On Windows, use the command Gradle clean build cache. On Mac or Linux, use slash Gradle clean build cache. After clearing the cache, try building Gradle again. This should help fix the issue. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.